How's it going today guys? Today I'm going to show you how I fillet a burbot and this method is really similar to a walleye or a trout so it should be super easy to catch on to for you guys and I'm hoping that uh, you should be able to catch on within a fish or two. Uh, this method gets a really really nice fillet with pretty much all the meat uh, that you can get off the burbot in one piece so with that let's hop to it and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, we're starting with the whole burbot here. This thing has been bled out. I bleed out <clears throat> pretty much all my fish, really. Um, just make a slice in the gills here and let them bleed out in some cold water. And uh, leave them for five or ten minutes and they should be much cleaner to work with. So, all right. Uh, on a burbot, we've got a strip of meat here along the top. And then it, this whole tail is meat. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start by angling... Our knife right up here you can see the meat comes all the way up here into the head then we're going to turn our knife sideways and follow the backbone just like this we're going to follow that until we get to where this fin starts right here and then we can pop through and just follow that backbone all the way down to the tail just like you would anything else, like a walleye or a bass. Just like that. See how white that meat is? That's just because I bled it out. There's no blood left in this fish. Alright, so then we're going to keep coming up here. Follow our cut down until we hit the ribs here. I'm going to follow those ribs out. Like so. And there's a, there's some bones that want to peel up off the off the rib cage right at the end here, and so you can see them right here. I'm just gonna make sure I get around those and leave them on the carcass. Okay. Now we're just gonna cut straight out to the skin. So. There really isn't any meat on the top of the ribs on a burbot, so we're just going to go right out to the skin on there and then cut this bottom section off like so. And there you have the whole fillet, boneless, there's no bones in here. I'm going to push this guy off to the side, run my squeegee here, clean this up a little bit. If you guys don't have a setup like this, I recommend making one because it makes cleanup so much easier. All right, I'm going to take my long knife, put it right up against the edge of the table so I've got room to get my knife down, and I'm going to cut the skin off, and I'm going to go shallow on this cut because I don't want to cut right to the skin because there's a layer of fat right along the skin that can give that fish a fishy flavor. And it's so much easier to get it off now than trying to cut it off of the fillet later. So, there we go. And you can see I left all that fat right on the skin with that shallow cut. And that gets tossed. It's all removed off the back. If you skin it too deep, you'll see fat along this whole backside. And you don't want that. So, on a bigger fish like this, I'm going to cut this into two chunks. And then you have... The front loin and the tail, boneless, pretty much no fat left on it. And that is perfect for cooking. All right, and now I'm going to do the other side here. It's basically the same thing, just in reverse. So cut up to the head, follow that backbone right down. We get to that fin, pop through, follow that right to the tail, like so. And we'll follow the rib cage, just like we did on the last fish. The last fish, you know. No, the last side is what I meant to say. 
All right. So here's those little bones. We're going to cut those just above them and leave them on the carcass. Now we'll cut that whole loin off. Just like this. Okay. There's our second fillet. Pretty much the same as the first. Clean this up again. See how slick that is? Alright, now back to the long knife and our shallow cut here. All the way down. Boneless, skinless, no fat on the back, two pieces, done. Now, this is something I have not tried, but I'm going to try today. And that is, I've been told if you cut this belly meat off, you can cook it just like calamari. And I happen to be a fan of calamari, so I'm going to try it. And it looks like that just comes right off really easy, right up to the ribs. That's actually a pretty sizable chunk of meat. So we'll see how it skins here. Just going to start that cut right there. Just skin it like you would any other filet. Actually, skin's pretty easy. Yeah. Actually, it looks really good. It's probably quarter, half inch thick, something like that. So I'm just going to cut it into strips like you'd see calamari. And we're going to bread that and fry it up and I bet you it will be really good yeah and if you do three or four I would guess you'd get you're gonna get a pretty good bunch of meat there so yeah that's that's how I do a burbot right there beginning to end there's no meat left on there boneless no fat so Pretty basic, but hopefully you can learn a thing or two. Now this guy's got something in his stomach, and I always check what's in fish's stomachs because I'm a curious kind of guy. Oh yeah, smelt. That's the same thing I'm using for bait, which is not a surprise. There's about four billion of them in Lake Superior where I'm fishing in Shubhavagan Bay, so that's a preferred food source right there. All right, that's it. Hope you guys learned a thing or two, and good luck fishing. Hey guys, a little update on the uh, burbot belly recipe. Oh, that's a little crooked. There we go. Uh, the burbot bellies were awesome. I'm going to give them two thumbs up, five stars, all that stuff, because they were fantastic. And I won't throw a burbot belly away again, because it was just too good. So... Um, if you guys catch one, make sure you fillet it just like I showed you into those little strips. And we just beer battered them and threw them in hot oil and ate them like little fish french fries. So, um, yeah, next time you catch one, make sure you uh, f make yourself some beer battered burbot bellies. Boom. Well, hopefully that was a helpful video for you guys. Um, please like that one. Hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I should be putting up a whole lot more uh, in the near future here. So um, get out on the water, get out on the ice while there's still some left, and good luck fishing, guys.